Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X. This is Quick Mind. We just completed Storm Eagle stage in the last uh, episode. Now we're heading to Spark Mandrill stage. So as you can see, it looks uh, fairly damaged here. If I hadn't beaten Storm Eagle first, uh, there would be sparks running through the floors and, and these glass tubes, and uh, it would be a little more difficult in this stage. Watch out for those things flying by in this part. Oh. Coming up. Uh is it like a mid boss and this weapon is excellent to use against him There's a lot of continuous damage and also had we not beaten storm eagle that thing would be shooting out electricity and one thing i didn't mention before pushing l and r can switch your weapons in this game. Pretty, pretty handy, I suppose. Here we have a hard tank, and it's a little tricky to get. We can get it without any special uh, weapons or anything. Just have to time that dash jump just right. Storm Eagle's weapon works good against those big turtle things as well. Ah. That'll teach you. And here we are. So, switching over to shotgun eyes. There we go. Electric spark. Okay, so now we're gonna head to Armored Armadillo stage because he is weak against Electric Spark. Well. 
good place to build up your energy tanks. So you have all these bats you can take down, they keep uh, respawning. Recognize this bat from the old XCOM? Er, not XCOM. <laughs> the old Mega Man series. I believe if you want to farm extra men, uh, they're good for that. I haven't really done that in a long, long time, though. But I've already had two drop, so. And yeah, here's three now. So if you need extra men, uh, come here to farm for them. You can also farm for uh, energy as well for your energy tanks. There are lots of bats in this stage. And that uh, cart we were riding would have uh, ended way back there anyway, so we uh, didn't have to walk too far. If you listen, that sound that just played is me putting energy in the sub tank. you'll hear another sound uh, when you complete the tank. And here we have another energy tank. Watch out for that thing, because those spikes on the front will crush you and kill you in one hit. Careful right here. Oh, just like, not like that, I should say. There we go. You want to hurry up and beat this, because you have another heart tank. And don't worry about going back to kill it, it's no big deal. And that sound was me completing an energy tank. Now be careful coming up here. You're going to want to stay on this as long as you can. You want to make it up here. I'll show you why towards the end of the Let's Play. But it's definitely important to get up there uh, at least once if you can. Uh, you can do it multiple times uh, for now, but uh, you don't have to worry about that yet. But if, if you want to get... 100% uh, of the items, that's what you'll want to do. By electrocuting him, he loses his armor. Now you can hurt him anytime you want. Peace cake. shield. Alright. Let's see. Let's do launch octopus next. He's weak against rolling shield.
little careful coming up here. Because you have a little mini boss. You have another one. Uh oh, darn. Yeah, you have to be careful with this guy. Okay. A little bit quicker. jump up on these. You want to jump up on this guy and take him out. And it just takes one storm tornado. And you want to go this way for a special surprise. I'm just waiting to see if it drops anything. Alright. And we get another heart tank. Going back up. And we're going to have another one of those little dragon things. Okay, time for Launch Octopus. This guy can be a little tricky when you're not full on health. He just shoots so much that uh, it, it can, it, one hit takes out your rolling shield and it's a waste of weapon energy. He's invulnerable while doing that so you can't hit him. Let him suck you up into that. Uh, I think he just grabs hold of you and starts either absorbing your energy or just removing it. Can't recall which. I uh, I try not to get grabbed by him. Homing toward forming. I never noticed that before. It said horming. Huh. Interesting. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and quit for now. I'm getting close to 15 minutes and don't want to make them too long. But uh, next time, we're going to head to either one of these guys. That's Flame Mammoth and Boomer. Kawanger or Kawanger, whatever you want to call it. I have the weakness for both of them. Um, I think I'm going to go with this guy next because uh, there's something in there I want to get. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.